Residents of Albuquerque and Bernalillo County are all too familiar with bears looking for an alternative food source in town. In the village of Los Ranchos, next to Albuquerque's North Valley, one family thought they saw a stray dog until their son took its picture. You know, like I always say, never say never when it comes to wild animals. Uh, they'll show up in the strangest, strangest of places. Like in Joel Stribling's backyard in Los Ranchos, not exactly bear country. We woke up and uh, my mom uh, thought she saw uh, our neighbor's dog run across our lawn. And it's, it's not, I mean, it's common. They, they get in all the time. And so I was like, well, that dog seemed a little bigger than I had expected. And what his mom thought was a dog got chased up their tree. I saw that it was a bear and I was just amazed because I, I haven't even seen one in, uh, I've seen a glimpse of one up at our cabin, but much less here in our, in our tree just posing for us. Joel took a picture, just the evidence the Stribblings needed to prove to authorities they really did have a wild black bear in their backyard. Next stop, Robert Livingston sets up a bear trap to entice the bear out of the tree, but the bear doesn't budge. So watch what happens when I pull the bait sack. So now it's time to put Plan B into action. New Mexico Game and Fish, Albuquerque Police and the Sheriff's Department have been on a wild bear chase for some time. And it's hard to believe that this 150 pound two year old managed to elude them. But don't let the sweet expression fool you, bears can be quite sneaky. Spent several days um, trying to locate the bear. Um, as you can see here in the North Valley of Albuquerque, there's lots of water, it's very lush. Um, lots of gardens, um, lots of agriculture that's going on. So there's a lot of food for the bear. This bear had been seen and we actually had photos of it um, not too far from here, a little further south from here, moving around. And with all the cover in here, as you see little trails, it's not hard for a bear to walk up one of these, um, see a human coming down the road, uh, jump off in and hide in the brush. Now it's been found, which was the easiest part of this equation. The hardest part? The bear is about 40 feet up in that tree. New Mexico game and fish officers have to get it down without hurting the bear. Called in p and Electrical Company that came in with their bucket trucks. They have to clear out some branches so the bear can have a safer descent. And down below, it's like preparing for a circus performer to take a dive. They bring out the bear bag, which is made from the same material as a hot air balloon. Chris has to get high enough to get in close enough to get a clear shot without getting mauled and without spooking the bear. He doesn't want the bear to go any higher in the tree or deeper in the branches. Once the dart goes into the bear, they have about three minutes to see if it works. If it does and the bear starts to fall, there are a lot of variables to worry about down below. It may just fall right away, it may just fall in place. If you're messing with it and they're heavy, it's dead weight. If it looks like you're going to lose it, the best thing you can do is just try to, you know, don't get all tangled up, but try to push it to where it falls on the bag. At least get in the right direction. The guys on the ground will be our guys, and they know the drill. Um, the idea is not to let the bear fall on top of them, but try to get it on the bag. Do they move the bag? Or the yeah, they'll be able to move the bag. The real moment of truth comes when Chris aims and then fires the immobilizing dart into the bear. The only thing I was thinking about was not missing. If I did miss, that the dart didn't end up, um, you know, flying over somebody's head or, or causing injury there. So safety was the main issue on this um, for the people in the area. That's primary. And, you know, along with that also is trying to get the bear out of the tree as, as safely as we can so it doesn't get injured. One thing that's really going through your mind when you're dealing with this is, is that will the bear actually fall on the bear bag? You have, to, you have to really move the bear bag. You have to be ready to move into position. This one being 30, 30 to 40 feet up in the air, um, once that bear starts to fall, it's easy for somebody to get injured. If uh, you don't move, you trip, the bear could fall on you. And with all this excitement, the bear is full of adrenaline, so one shot may not be enough. And remember, the bear can still make a run for it. Then there is the lucky turn of events. The bear gives us a clean shot of bear backside. Perfect target. The dart goes in and the bear doesn't seem in any hurry to go anywhere. And it looks like it's got a pretty good hold of those branches. So if he does conk out, they're going to have to put a harness on him and finagle him out of that tree. One more dart should do the trick. The bear is getting woozy. The men move the bear mat underneath. 
The bear is still hanging in there. And then it's lights out. The bag is moved just in time to bear the brunt of the fall. Now it's time to move the bear so it can be thoroughly examined. Then the darts are removed. Some good navigating there, Daryl. Yeah, that yeah, sure was. The fall looks pretty rough. Look at it in slow motion. You can see the bear did hit some branches pretty hard. But on the ground, on closer inspection, the bear weathered the fall pretty well. Now that it's out cold, workers can check it over and patch the bear up. There are a few cuts and scrapes that require some antibiotic cream to be applied, but overall the bear is in excellent health. In fact, because of the extra layer of fat from all the good eats, the second dart was necessary. Thanks to the good coordination between our officers, Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department, and great thanks to p and for bringing in their bucket trucks, which enabled us to, to put our officer in a position up next to the bear to be able to get a good, safe shot with a dart into that bear. Um, this just worked out really great. After his checkup, the bear is tagged so New Mexico Game and Fish can track its progress. The bear is now relocated in the Zuni Mountains, far from the comforts of Los Ranchos. And the bear hit a couple branches on the way down. That's typically unavoidable. Um, but it landed on the bear bag and, and, you know, upon release, it was in very good health. It was a piece of film seen around the world of a darted bear falling from the top of a power pole onto a city street that prompted New Mexico game wardens to develop the bear bag. Now bears all over the country are treated to the soft landing, much like a stuntman in the movies.